Hey folks, welcome to Thunderpunk Radio. This is the third series in our reload drills and this is going to be the most fun one. So we've already done two-handed reloads and we've done strong side one-handed reloads. Now the real fun part, especially if you have a level two or level three holster. We're going to be doing weak side reloads. So if you're right-handed, that means we're just going to be using our left hand and we're going to be giving this one a home. And if you're left-handed, we're going to be using our right hand. So. I'm going to be switching back to um, my 1911 just because I have 45 snap caps and 9mm snap caps and you're using the 9mm snap caps. <laughs> but I can't let you do that by yourself without demonstrating that this can be done. I appreciate so, it. We have a level 1 holster. Well first right off the bat here. I know you're clear because you just showed me. Yeah. Alright so boop. we're going to practice drawing out of our right retention holster with our left hand. So I'm going to give this a home, I'm going to grab my belt in the back here, and this is awkward as hell. But it doesn't matter, you need to fight, right? So I'm going to reach across the best I can, and I'm going to manipulate this with my thumb. I'm going to pull it out, I'm going to put it into my legs, and I'm going to pick it up, boom, and get a good sight picture and go to town. And then when I need to reload, I'm going to take my pointer finger, I'm going to hit that mag release, hit that mag release, I'm going to drop it between my legs, I'm going to pull out a mag, now these are hot rounds so I'm not going to actually put it in there. Put it in there, make sure it's good to go. Then I pull this out and I rack it on my pocket, I rack it on my mag pouches, I rack it on something, a door sill, like whatever, window sill, door frame, whatever you have, you know what I mean? Because you got to get that gun in the fight and then you're back in the fight. Cool. Make sense? Yeah, this ought to be interesting. All right, so why don't you, while I get my uh, other pistol going, why don't you practice just drawing with your left hand? Give your right hand a home. All right, there we go. So back here. Right here. Thumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't train enough at all with my left hand. All right, so pointer finger, drop the mag, back between legs, mm -mm. There, there we go, go. Damn. bam, that wasn't awkward at all, no, mm -hmm. now two things, one, um, we're going to give you a little bit of criticisms because you did some fishing, or bowl no, you did some bowling, uh-huh, Bring it in and push it out. Always drive that gun. Okay. Yeah. I think it's always better to do this. It's still going to be faster even if it takes some more effort than, than this. And also you just have better control of it. And you can line up that sight a little more naturally uh -huh. if you're pushing out like that. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing I forgot. So you're off the hook. All right. The, the, was it the knee thing like this? No, I don't I don't even remember. <laughs> cut I think that out, I the hope. The first time you ever did it, man, I thought that was great. All so. right. Uh, resetting. I'll actually follow you step by step. Now, it doesn't matter if it's locked back for this drill or not, because the hard part, here's the thing, with your holster, you can't, and even with this holster, like, I can't lock, I can't manipulate this holster if the slide is locked back, right? Mm -hmm. And this doesn't work if your slide is locked back. So for this drill, we're going to start out without the slide locked back, all right? So, are we ready to go? Uh, yep. Lining the home for my right hand. Now, this is the first time I've ever done this with this holster that has a snap brake on. Let's okay. go see how that goes. All right, so the first thing, we're going to stop as soon as you have a good sight picture and pull the trigger, okay? Okay. So, ready, go. Nice. Okay, now drop it in. Okay. Boop. I didn't drop a mag. Oh, might want to might want to drop a mag. Let's see. There you go. Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong way. All right, here we go. Yep, bold again. Yeah, I got to train more with my left hand, <laughs> just generally. Not you even, know what's not funny? Reloads. Shooting one-handed, I'm more accurate with my left hand. Really? I don't know why. Huh. I don't know. Maybe because I'm there's less reflexive to it, and I'm, I'm more focused on it, or something. It's not that much more accurate because I'm very, very accurate. <laughs> I'm okay, but <laughs> I am more accurate with my left hand, which is kind of weird. All so. Right. All right, no, 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 what are you doing? Oh, put it back. Eh, how the hell did you... Get in here, get in this. 
Remember, you want to lead with that light. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> this is tons of fun. Oh boy, okay. No, I'm getting real good at this. And also think about it, if you're using your right hand for almost everything, if yeah. you're right-handed, there's more chances that this is the one that's going to get injured, right? Right. All right, maybe. Yeah, man. I don't know. Got to compensate. Okay. So, we're going to do the same thing again. Go. Cool. Shooter ready. Shooter up. War II. Nope, oh, I didn't drop a mag either this time. We're gonna get a clean one eventually. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't have a bullet in that one. Yeah, I did in that one. Guy looks so awkward the way I'm standing there with that. Watch out. Nope. These are dirty as There we, we go. We need to get, <laughs> we need to get a good one. This will be wrap. blooper reel. All right, so breaking that down Barney style as far as uh, getting it, changing your grip so you can actually fire We're going to do it by the numbers. We're going to do it nice, slow, and deliberate. We're going to talk through each step as Copy. we do it. Let's do it. Say, so give your right hand a home. I, I like to grab the belt part. Okay, so shooter ready. We got our hand right here for shooter up. We're going to reach across with our thumb. We're going to try to manipulate that exactly. And then, John, if you want to get in there, see if you can yeah. get what he's doing here. Okay. You're gonna grab that gun. You're gonna. Here's my. Uh, here's my uh, release. Grab that with my thumb. Okay. And I'm gonna pull that. Out. Yep. Pull it out. Okay. okay. We're gonna place it between our legs. So just turning your hand over. That's exactly. It. It's just this, this simple motion from here. Bam. And you can even, you know, practice this if your body's real tight. You know, you need to work on your flexibility a little bit. <laughs> you know. Boom. It's the latest craze. <laughs> All right, so right. here, and then we just reach our hand over. Turn. There you go, and then drive, drive that gun. Out. Now, if you notice, I made a micro adjustment moving my pistol mm -hmm. as it came up. Now, with my M and P, I don't really need to do that as much. So, depending upon what you're shooting, you might have to make a micro adjustment on your grip as you're coming up, or you might not just deal with it. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I want to go from one. Yes. So, shooter ready. Shooter up. Okay, I'm hitting that release. My thumb. Pulling it out, just dropping it right down, switching grip, drive the gun. Boom. Okay? Yeah. Now to reload, I don't have a mag in, but push that. Index push, finger. Yep, there you go. And you can just drop it straight down now like this. Now it's upside down. Or you can put it this way. It's whatever you want. I just do it like this, and remember, Seems rounds in. So as I'm pulling out, since our rounds are forward, I just rotate it in. This way. Yep. And then... Now, when I'm using my pocket or my jeans, mm -hmm. I don't try to whoosh, real fast. I'm very deliberate. I push in, and then I drop it out. Let's see if that worked. Uh, you take your see. take your hand out and. Yep. Hey, yep. You good. Got it. All right, cool. So uh, again, from here, pull, it, bam. Yep. And I'm driving the gun back out. Boom. All right, now threats clear. Threats clear. No threats. All right, let's see. Put it back in there. All right. Let's see. Here, right, John. here we go. Much better. Hey, yeah. here we go. You got that adjustment. There you go. All right, how'd that feel? Uh, much. I'm. Um, it's I all was, about the mechanics, right? I was right? much I'm more confident because I my hand I, this way and. Well, plus just going through it by the numbers helped me remember what the next step was because you know you're thinking about end result. Uh, you know. And, and I'm not gonna lie, we kind of did that quick just because I thought it'd be funnier. To start out Thank you. Because everything else we've done, we've done slowly by the numbers and deliberately. Well, but like, it's not for me, training. it's for them. <laughs> it's for those people out there who don't know what they're doing. Well, there we go. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, man. Let's do that. I'd, I'd love to do that again. Over here. And we can kind of go a little quicker if you want. Yep. And I'll do the okay, best go I with can. Your, so, uh, when I'm doing drills and I start to speed up, what I try to do is be deliberate. Usually, for most of these things, I push the speed until you start to, to lose accuracy. And by that, I don't just mean shooting, but just like, oh, now I'm like, you know, trying to jam the mag in and it's not working. So get it perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah. Then increase the speed until you're perfect again. Then increase the speed. And yeah, then, once I, once I, when I start practicing this at home, it's going to be very slow, deliberate over and over and over until, until it's until it's perfect slow there you go and then start picking up the pace okay 
Here we go. Shooter ready. Shooter up. Now I got a safety over here, so I got to manipulate that. Boom. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah, forgot. Boop. You see, this time I did it differently. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> put, put that in. We'll do it one more time. Oh wait, I'm gonna holster with with my with my stupid hand. There you go. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good practice, you know. Damn. Come on. So, and depending upon the type of holster you have, because I don't know if you saw what I did, I just reached across and went like this. Now, here's the other thing too. With this holster, if my, I know my hand is incapacitated and it's not good, I could just keep it like that. You know what I mean? Right. Or rotate it since it's a soft leather holster. All right, one more time. All right. Shooter ready. Shooter up. Come on, bike bro. Oh, did it again. You wanna start over? Let's no, we gotta work through it, work through it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> My hand's already out. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated. I know you're right, you're right, we should. This, this time we're gonna get it. The rooster's cheering us on. Yes. All right. So, hands tucked away. Get ready. Shoot her up. Okay. And, oh yeah, we're going to have to do that again. Whoop. Yeah. I'm getting pretty good at this. Not bad. All right. Now, this time we should do it. We, for the last three videos, we've just been standing standard isosceles. We really should be standing in a fighting stance with okay. like one hand forward. It's a little weird. Yep. Switch your... Wait, do I forget? Hey, do you typically... Oh yeah, I think, I, yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah. And the instructor is wrong. Don't listen to me, guys. Listen to this guy. All right. Here we go. Put hand at home and shoot her up. I'll just reload. Keep forgetting that part. So I was thinking about this, like why is it so important for when we're doing the two-handed drill to have the slide lock back, but uh -huh. it's not as important for the one-handed drill. Uh -huh. And I realized that since we're not using that slide lock, it doesn't matter as much because you still have to go through the motion. So, Ironically, you don't necessarily need to start with your slide lock back for this uh, weak side drill because you're not manipulating that. Right. Unless you have an ambidextrous one, which would be great, but then you still have to go like that. So, anyways, just point of contention. So, cool. what'd you think, man? Uh, definitely gonna need to work on that. By the numbers, breaking it down step by step. Because even now I'm thinking about stuff uh, and just trying to lock it away, you know? So, I think. Um, yeah, I got to work left hand anyway. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, should I start working um, just basic manipulation left hand first yes. or all the way from from right hand? now? Yes. Break it down. You can just do presenting. You can just do the drawing part. You can do the reloading. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to the range, I always shoot equal number right hand and left hand. Always. Yeah, I never. I did. mostly shoot two hand, but I, I shoot a lot right hand. And every every for every one shot I take on my right hand, I take one to two with my left hand. Well, I'll start doing it. So, cool man. All right, thanks, folks. So with these drills, you can get better, but definitely take classes. Go find an instructor. Uh, take private lessons. Go to a, a big class, whatever. But do this first, then go to the class, get formal training, and become safe and dangerous and a good, competent, responsible person. Yeah. So. Don't forget to mash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, and tell all your friends about Thunder Punk Radio. See Thanks, ya. folks. See you.